Rodents are sweeping across central Australia. Heavy rains over the past year mean the desert is blooming with flora. With so much food around, the mouse population is booming and now rats could be on their tail. The long-haired rat is scurrying across the red centre and for the first time in 25 years has reached Alice Springs. Tom Nightingale reports. With so much food around, mice are everywhere. There's um, probably about um, eight mice or so here. They would multiply up to 80 in about three months. Um, and then another three months on top of that, you're probably looking at 800. Mice have been annoying people in Alice Springs for months. And scientists say the long-haired rat may also be scurrying in. During these wet times, the thing erupts into large numbers and then starts to spread out. The rat can be 22 centimetres long, making it a heavyweight in the rodent world. It breeds even faster than rabbits and isn't afraid to defend itself. Some animals can be really docile and some can be really aggressive, but only when they're handled. They're not aggressive in that they'll attack, but if you pick them up, you can get a bite. The rats are found in the Barkley Tableland in southwest Queensland. But during the wet years, they spread inland and for the first time since 1986, it's been found in Alice Springs. Scientists aren't expecting the rats to reach Alice Springs in large numbers. But if they do, their native status means they can't be killed. Instead, they must be reported to Parks and Wildlife. People can be fined up to $67,000 for deliberately killing the rat. And even if the town is inundated, scientists say it'll only be temporarily. They say rodent numbers will recede when rainfall drops back to normal levels. Tom Nightingale, ABC News, Alice Springs.